Hey, I have to admit that I'm getting more and more comfortable in trying out the software. So here we go again. Recently, I was reached out by folks from Wondershare in order to take a quick look at one of their apps, PDF Element, a robust PDF editor that is available on all major platforms. But as you can anticipate, there is much more to this PDF solution that meets the eye. Question, have you ever used Wondershare product? Since this is the first time for me, I'm asking for your feedback. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Markings from different locations, new studio, new apartment. I'm the channel's host Mark when this is your dose of latest Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications. See you in the next video. In case you've been living under the rock, Wondershare Technology Group has been around for more than 20 years. With PDF Element, this company went on a quest to deliver an ultimate PDF solution that is easy to use, super fast, fully cross-platform compatible, and affordable. And as I said in intro segment, PDF Element can be used on all popular platforms such as Mac OS, Windows PC, Android, Yet, my focus will be the version for iOS, iPadOS exclusively, and there are many reasons why this makes sense. An iPad has long been one of my favorite devices. It's a very capable computer with decently big display, so you can actually use it for work. Another advantage is that it has a camera in case you want to scan an agreement or something on to go and turn it into interactive PDF. Also, it has a touch stylus support which is a must if you want to sign the document. A common scenario for typical workday, that is the beauty of testing PDF elements on my iPad Pro. As expected, this PDF software has a simple user-friendly interface and it's not cluttered with confusing options and buttons. Right from the start, it seems obvious that the workflow is straightforward, so an easy learning curve at the first glance appears guaranteed. Normally, after you log in, you will be greeted with a home section and beside the most recent documents, you will notice a tools button where you can actually see a complete summary, an entire box of possibilities, what's at your disposal, and what you can do with PDF Element. As you can see, it's quite a comprehensive piece of software that lets you edit, mark up, sign, merge, and organize PDF files, and more. Below is the list of potential locations to which you can connect and access your files, with computer being my favorite, which will let you upload files from your other device like Mac or PC without having PDF element installed on your computer. But the main action takes place when you go to the bottom right section of the screen with a plus for both import and creation. Honestly, I could just make a blank PDF file and start working from the scratch, but in many ways this would probably be one of the rarest actions that someone would take. It's good to know that you can. Yet importing a PDF file is a completely different story and a common practice. Nevertheless, before I Accessing a document that I plan to work with, I really wanted to see how capable is its OCR reader. So I took the scan from a page of clients' old catalog that they want redesigned and translated into English. Also, I've been instructed to make certain adjustments, so I did. I wasn't sure what will be the end result, or would it take less time to simply retype everything. I'm certain that the iPad Pro from 2024, which I reviewed a few months ago, would make even better scans but my 2018 model finished the job. Since I needed only one portion of the image, I've also used PDF element to crop the image before it ran through OCR. When action took place, I was asked, do I want editable text? And to select the proper language of origin of the text. The original material was in English, so I took the leap of faith. Well, it turned out that OCR reader actually made entire text fully editable. Now, I know it wasn't perfect since some changes were made, but still a solid result considering that there was no Serbian to start with. On the top menu, I skipped comment mode since I didn't need something to annotate or highlight, which you can and it works fine. I went straight to the edit mode and started changing some details in the text. Wondershare's PDF element brings AI assistant ready to serve 
them to respond to all your queries, to summarize and explain specific documents, or to translate, which is exactly what I could use in this scenario. Surprisingly, it managed to recognize one of the languages of the Balkan region and to translate the sentence quite well in English with a single click. But then I wanted to explore a little bit more. My intention was to modify an agreement that was previously made, with few adjustments pending. The plan for start was to remove extra pages since it seemed too long. What I do like is that you can easily drag and drop and reorganize your content if you prefer. The same way you delete a page from your document. The description of services that would be provided to the client was too detailed, so I wanted it simplified. Therefore, the easiest way was to turn to AI Assistant once again, this time with a clear instruction to summarize a portion of the content and to use it as a replacement of the original one. Instead of rechecking the summary, I initiated the read aloud feature within the comment mode so I could move away from the computer to do something else. The service provider offers creative services to help clients develop ideas and designs that align with their brand and appeal to their target audience. Quite neat, right? One additional touch was missing, my logo on the rights of the agreement. Finally, it was a time to put my signature and everything was ready. Since this document contains sensitive information, I decided to add a password protection and to make sure that it's well optimized for sending, I compressed it. Upon returning to the home section, the file was there and ready for sharing. To tell you the truth, I was extremely surprised with PDF Element and its functionality on the iPad. It feels like a fully fledged product. There are many features that deserve attention which I didn't mention. Wondershare made it possible to fill the forms and to sign them on to go. If your company or the client prefers some other kind of file, PDF Element lets you convert a document into multiple file formats like Microsoft Word, Excel, JPEG, GIF, HTML, RTF, etc. And other way around too. The same way you can merge multiple documents, you can also split them or even resize if it's necessary. Having all of this available on the iPad is a big deal to me. And I'm really glad that folks from Wondershare reach out to me to test their product. Thumbs up for that. It was an exciting experience and you should definitely check out the link in the description and in pinned comment. Fellow viewers, I hope you enjoyed too. If you did, please subscribe, slap the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching Digital Markings. I'm Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.